Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's community day this week and I have here with me Landon. Say hi, Landon. Hi, Landon. Yes, and we're gonna be playing Sunhaven. Um, as you guys know, that's what we do for our community today. If anybody else does want to play with us, um, the Zoom, of course, is not required, um, but you can join us in there. And oh my God, I think my monitor <gasps> just died. Hang on, hang on, I cannot see OBS. I know it's still there because I just heard a howl. Hello, Lunar. <laughs> Okay, it's back. We're good. We're good. Um, Oh my gosh, Koneko was so fast with the first today. It was literally like I clicked the button to start stream and then like Koneko was like, boom, first. It was like so fast. So uh, so thank you so much for being fast on the first Koneko. I'm sorry for the circumstances that there's no riding today. It's a, it's a bank holiday there, a national holiday there. What did you say? Um, yeah, national holiday there. So no riding lessons. I'm so sorry for that. So next week will have to be even better writing lessons, right? Um, Lunar, you of course are welcome to play as well. I know you play with us a couple times, but you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Um, I am gonna turn on the sound though, so you guys can hear, and we'll get we'll get into the the game. Oh my gosh, where's my mouse? There it goes. Well, Landon, how have you been? It's been you know it's been a couple weeks since we had a uh, had a episode a Twilight episode, so people haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, it's been it's been a little insane. Um, I was just telling Karen before we got on stream that this time of year is really when things kind of just explode at school. Uh, and that like all of a sudden there's after school events and all these things that I have to do that I'm like, oh, we're pushing we're pushing those last few weeks until summer. Uh, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's kind it's of like how testing it's, season how for you guys, been. right? Oh yeah, testing yeah. season, um, a bunch of events are coming up, uh, a bunch of like after school, like required programs and PD, but also like, like we're doing like a day of service and I'm hosting like an open mic night for uh, the high school students, which oh. I don't even, like teach high school. Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. So there's like a lot of like events every week until here until mid-june and it's just kind of like a sprint it's like a marathon to the end it's like okay we can get through this next seven weeks we can oh my do gosh it. <laughs> that sounds so intense what yeah. um just you know think 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 about your t teachers out there guys during this time. <laughs> that's, that's all i recommend just be like hey check in on them <laughs> oh my god oh my god that just like that just sounds so crazy okay i'm not gonna like open mic night when you said that you know where my mind went my mind went to like oh. the christmas thing in mean girls and you're gonna get rocking oh. around the pole <laughs> good news is probably will not uh in fact it'll probably be the opposite that no one is gonna show up oh. uh which will be fine it'll be fine i see uh, I we're see. doing this we're doing this um event called um it's based off of uh, Brown Girl Dreaming, which is a novel written in verse. Okay. And so we're doing like a whole poetry panel event and then encouraging kids to come read their poetry at an after school event. And I'm like, God, things kids don't want to do. Read poetry and get up in front of their friends and read poetry. Yeah, that uh, sounds like so... the, the worst possible combination for that age, you know? <laughs> it's like also one of those things where I'm like, Hey, we can try. We could do it. So we're gonna try. <laughs> yeah, just see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, nothing happens and then you don't have to do anything. Exactly. There's Landon. Oh my gosh, hello. I forgot how much I loved this character. Right? Your uh Let's your multiplayer can... character is so cute. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a second. <laughs> Well, of course, things look different because we played. Um, I know you weren't with, weren't here last week. It was me and Lunar last week, and um, we did, uh, we did make it over to uh, the Elf Land. So I, you haven't been oh, to yeah. Elf Land yet. So we'll have to go there since your character is literally one, right? Like I'm Do pretty we have sure a your character, huh? Uh, yes, my character is an elf. Yeah, yeah. So I we'll have to go I'm... there. I wonder if I'm able to go there without doing the quest stuff. Oh, you don't have the quest to get there yet? Not yet. I have a okay. bunch of quests, actually. I'm going to go work on those. It looks like yeah. they're been watering. Yeah, you should probably progress the story um, so that you can get caught up. Because whenever you have that quest, we should take you there. 
Yes. Let me let me go do that thing. Oh, I'm collecting berries. It is summer now, by the way. We we made it to summer year one. Love a good love a good summer. Yeah. Lynn, where you be at? Okay, you're going the wrong way, friend. And also, I spent like all of our money on plushies. Sorry, not sorry. There was an event. That's okay. The, yeah, there was oh, an event. I, yes, of course. At the end of spring, and and the vendors were selling like plushies of all the Chinese zodiac, and so I had to buy a bunch of them. And um, I didn't get to buy all of them. I ran out of money, but I bought a lot. You're like they all need to be represented. I know it was so cute. Like they're they're next to the my house. Um, they're adorable. Oh, I'm also missing one wheat to harvest. Oh. Oh my god. Well, you'll definitely have to do that. Oh, I have my I date with June. That. I have to meet his, meet him at his house. Okay, I'm gonna go on my June date. I had completely forgotten. I just re just now read my quest log. Thank God, because it's nine thirty. I was gonna miss him. June, baby. Okay, and also I learned. I've learned playing this game um, solo. You can go on like as many different of the first and second dates as you want, and none of the characters consider that cheating or anything. So you can just do, like, all the dates. Yes. And no, no consequences. Okay, I'm gonna say all the right things, and I'm actually gonna read and pay attention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say all the right things to June here. <laughs> uh, An important okay. part of this. Yes. Yeah, I still have quests from um, the the rock monster. Oh, okay. So I'm yeah have to do that too, which is silly because you think with there currently not being a rock monster on our land. Yeah, because the rock monster is defeated. So I don't know what I don't know like what they're expecting you to do. Just talk to the people that they like are saying needs me to talk to, like Nathaniel oh. and whatever. Oh, interesting. So. Okay, I had a good date with June. I got some hearts. Ooh. I'm so happy. If I look a little different to anybody watching, it's just because I just um, did my redid my hair on uh, Monday, so it's got uh, fresh dye in it. So no more um. No more roots. I was showing roots for so long. I was being so oh, lazy. Yeah, I you know understand how that is. That. Yeah, yeah. I do. <clears throat> oh, I was making flower garden over here. I forgot about that. I guess I better water these too. Oatmeal, hello! What local thing am I supporting? I can't catch the last word, the shirt. The last word's the best word. You're supporting your local Fujoshi. Oatmeal, I'm so glad you asked. Um, this is from a new t-shirt shop from a um, friend of the stream, a, a dear, a dear, dear uh, barber monger. They have a t-shirt shop now. Oh, um, they do? Yes, they do. And you should That's absolutely, so cool. you should absolutely go take a look. They've got some really amazing designs. If you are uh, a girl, gay, or they on the internet, you will 100% love it. If it, that's not you, you might still like it, okay? But um, <laughs> but that's who it's for. <laughs> yeah, they've been uh, talking for a long time because they've got a lot of like artists and like people that like like meme T-shirts and things like that in in the Barbara Mongers. Um, so they've been talking for a long time about like we're gonna make a t-shirt shop. Well, anyways, it's finally a thing, and um, and I have I love I, I bought two. This one, and if y'all go to the site, you can try to guess at the second one that I bought, which I'm gonna wear tomorrow. You can see if you're right. But yeah, it was not bad. It's not. It was not that expensive. The quality of the shirts is really good. At least I'm really happy with them. And I feel like it didn't take too long to ship to me. Okay. Okay. I need some logs. So I guess I should 
go to the forest. I'm buy a few seeds. Oh, we've got wheat growing, Landon, by the way. So if it finishes... Yes, I saw. Yeah, you can harvest uh, it. Amazing. Yes. No, I just also need to get up my farming. So I... Yeah. Need, I wanted to buy a couple of things. I see, I see. That could be helpful. Noted, I've got a few things from Threadless. They're pretty... Yes, it's a Threadless shop. Um, I've never ordered, bought from Threadless before, so I really didn't know what to expect, but I liked what I got. If you, um, if anybody orders something, let me know so I can go, uh, so I can go tell them that, uh, that some of y'all supported their shop. Okay. Turn into Kai. I forgot who Kai is. <laughs> Let's go try to find Kai, you guys. I got their locks. I do really appreciate that, like, this game puts it on the map where that character is. Yeah, yeah. That makes life so much easier. Right? Just a little, a, just a little bit of guidance, you know? Oh, oh, he's, oh, it's the new Naga character. I remember now. Oh, yes. I love Kai. Yeah, yeah. We met him on stream last time. He washed up. Oh, I think uh... I just missed him. Kai, there you are. Yeah, no problem. Give me that money, honey. Okay. Alright, I've got iron stuff right now. So, I guess probably I should be mining. Let's see. Oh, our chest's on the group farmer over here. Oh, Lunar, take your time, by the way. Like, you're good. Don't, uh, don't feel rushed or anything. Lunar's gonna join us a little later, but, um, oh, she's gonna cool. eat some food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah food no, eat good. food, that's important. Yeah. I had, I had, um, pizza rolls today. Nice. Breakfast of Champions. That is the Breakfast of Champions. <laughs> Yeah, they it was actually um buffalo chicken flavor pizza rolls, which I think I liked better than regular pizza rolls. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I recommend. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, not go a ahead. huge I'm not a huge buffalo chicken fan. Oh no. Which is a controversial topic, I understand. Yeah, I don't I don't really get it, get it, you know, but I think you had told me that before in relation to chicken wings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why no? Is it? Is it just like buffalo sauce just doesn't vibe with you? It just vibe. Because uh, I, I like spicy. Yeah, you're it not anti-spice. Like, I'm not. I'm definitely not anti-spice. In fact, one could say I love spice. <laughs> oh shoot! That's right. There's a snackoon blocking the mine now. The heck? Oh, we need iron. Yeah, we need iron bars. How am I gonna get iron bars? Uh, if I can't get in the mine, I guess I'm gonna have to buy them from somebody. <sighs> Do we have enough money to buy it? I don't know, I'm gonna go find out. I had to talk to Lynn first. She wanted to like flirt or something, so I had to do that. <laughs> oh, Lynn. I know, right? Okay, Salone wants. Oh, pull. I think I forgot. I think this is the game where I'm flirting with the bakery boy. Yeah, you were. That. That's that's who you were, were going after. I have to okay. go do that. I did cat. I did Catherine in my in my personal game. So I have to go after bakery boy in this one. Yeah. Okay. So we do have um we do have enough money for the iron bars. Do you want the plushie? Because if you're if you come over here with me, it'll he'll drop two plushies. If you care. Uh, yes, give me one second. Okay, I need to buy one cookie. Will we have enough if I buy it's 115? I already bought quest. the iron. I already bought oh, it. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I will So you're good. So he just wants four, Amazing. I think. Just make yeah, sure. Yeah, he just wants 
Yeah, yeah no, I had I had three already. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, four, four iron barns. You mean? Sorry, I thought you meant four. The guy wants four cookies too. Oh, so I see. I see. Right. No, this next. I'm coming. I promise. Bars. That's right, Lunar plushies. This game has so many plushies. I do like that aspect of it. Oh, Landon, because you were not here for the last um, Sunhaven stream, you you haven't heard my uh, my medical stories. I have an update. I have to not. That. No. Okay. Oh, I also got pulled. I also got pulled into a split screen. So go ahead and do the thing without okay. me and tell me about your stuff. Okay. So um, when we went on the cruise, um, I started having some like stomach problems. I won't go into too much detail because it's gross, right? But like just problems, um, you can imagine. And um, yeah. basically I thought it was like the cruise food, right? Well, like four weeks after the cruise, the problems were still happening. So I went to the doctor. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I was, so I went to the doctor and um, and they did a bunch of tests. They can't couldn't figure it out, right? They sent me to a GI um, who also was like, I don't know, but it's something. Um, so here's what the GI thinks right now. They think that I did catch some kind of virus either like um, right at the beginning of the cruise or like right before the cruise or whatever, like when, basically while traveling. And um, and then and my intestines just don't know that I already beat the virus, <laughs> which is why they can never detect anything. Yeah. So anyways, I had to um, last week go and get like a colonoscopy. I saw um, was, that. I saw that on the on the yeah, Discord. Yeah. So it was awful. The actual procedure was not awful, but having to control my diet, um, like for yes. for like days before, it was freaking awful. So um, so anyway, we they did they basically didn't find anything. So that's the update. This is the new new information that the stream has not heard. Um, they didn't find anything. Like everything looks looks fine and normal, um, basically. And uh, they said I had some hemorrhoids i think it was but that's literally just oh, because God. i well it's just be, it's just because it's been irritated now for like two months you know so yeah. it, it, that's it's it's expected it was not they didn't think it was a big deal so um so yeah they're waiting i'm waiting for biopsy results now um to figure out like what the heck if they're gonna do anything but like they don't know they're like baffled so um so yeah i'm a medical anomaly right now how does it feel to be a medical and all? <laughs> it feels terrible. It, it feels terrible. You know, I can't, uh, I can't trust anything. It's, uh, I don't like it. I mean, because I have a stomach of steel, you know, like I can eat anything. Yeah. I've, oh, yeah. I've never, I have never had this problem. Landon knows she's hung out with me in real life. Like I can eat anything. Absolutely. I don't have, any, I don't have these issues. So it's, um, it's kind of like, oh. Y'all, y'all been dealing with some because some people they just like they're just like this. They've been like this forever. I'm like, yeah. How? How, how do you people deal? I, I cannot. I can't handle it. I, yeah. That's stomach issues and stomach stuff is one of those things where I'm like, man, I am very lucky that I, knock on wood, haven't had to deal with any of it. Yeah, I never have before. I never have. It's crazy. So um, I've been getting lots of like really good recommendations and stuff um from from like uh people watching the stream and things so like if the biopsy results come back inconclusive i'm going to start trying some of the things that uh that y'all have shared with me like um there's like a fancy probiotic soda and some other like fun stuff um so yeah we cry and listen to torture poets department <laughs> oh, oh yeah don't even. Oh, oh my god <laughs> It only feels terrible because they forgot to mention the superpowers that come from being a medical anomaly. Really, Oatmeal? I want superpowers. You'll feel better real quick when you start shooting lasers. Fuck, I can't wait. When does the laser come? When does that start? I want it. <laughs> yeah, okay, wait. Okay, so Lunar's, Lunar's here. Landon's here. Okay, please tell me. What am I supposed to feel about Tortured Poets Department? Tell me all the things. Well... First of all, depressed. Yeah. Yeah, that is how yeah. I felt listening to it. I was like, it's a... Spe and I mean, Taylor Swift's always kind of like got songs about woo, woe is me, my life sucks, blah, blah, blah. Like that's, you know, she's been doing that for forever. But this one was especially sad. Yeah, I think that it was like, oh, we have, we have reached a point here, Taylor, where we are 
not doing well and maybe a therapist would be helpful for you. It almost kind of feels um, like, okay, like if we if we take her music as being honest, which I do think that there's like nuggets of honesty in all of her music, even though she is yes. like the ultimate brand of a person and barely a real person in that way. But I do think the reason why she's able to be successful is because there's a nugget of authenticity in all of her stuff. Anyways, mm-hmm. Taylor Swift, uh, a theories, whatever. So I do think that like, you know that whole era where she was like whatever i'm a bad bitch and i don't need no friends and fuck all y'all like it was it was lies like she was coping that's like that's what i think now yeah yeah so i think like what we what we did know during that time is that she basically she disappeared right and as she disappeared she got into a relationship yes and that relationship was great for being you know, a in isolation relation relationship, right? Um, anything beyond that was like any time that any time that she's tried to step out of the public eye or start step into the public eye at that point, it was very very clear that her like the person that she was dating did not want to do that. Yeah, and did not like it. Yeah. Um, and as like a working actor it was very clear that like he did not like that his reputation was tied to hers oh okay okay so Um, that's because like i don't always know the lore i just listen to the music yeah okay well and like that was the whole is that like people were asking more questions about being taylor swift's boyfriend than Mm -hmm. like he's like he wants to be like a serious actor Mm -hmm. um and so was would ask more questions about being Taylor Swift's boyfriend than like the movies that he was in, which I could totally could totally understand. Yeah, that would be really why annoying. You fucking wouldn't want to do that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Sucks. I mean, men don't um, often get put in that position. It's usually the woman that does. But yeah. like, I it's annoying either way. Absolutely, and uh, annoying and like hurtful and and can build resentment. Can understand. Yes. 100% understand why their like resentment was built. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know. But don't forget we got to go to bed by midnight. Yes, I am just watering one plant and then I am going to bed. Um He also cheated on her. That's what Lunar's saying he cheated well, on her. Well, there's no guarantee. I think it's just one of those things where you have a relationship and that's what poet like that's what the album is about is that like it ran its course. Mm. That he stopped he like they got comfortable and it stopped being a relationship mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and started being more about like oh we're we're in this together and she wanted more and she wanted to get married and he did not mm. and so i don't think it was so much of like he cheated i think that they were both halfway out the door when it finally got called quits okay 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 gotcha um, Lunar is saying people are saying her reputation album is about her falling in love and her lover album was her in denial and this album is falling out of love. Does that sound accurate to you too, Landon? I would disagree. I think lover, she is very much in love. Like I think she always was in love with Joe. Um, but I think that uh she like what it was is that um Midnights, which is the album before this one, was mm-hmm. her denial. Was her like, oh, I am, I'm ready to get out, and, and I'm sick of this. Mm. Um, and then, like, what ended up happening is she did end up getting out. Um, and then she hooked up with Maddie Healy from 1975, right? Uh, and the fandom had a problem with that because Maddie Healy is, uh, one could say, problematic. <laughs> um, <laughs> And people did not like that, and uh, and it was too much for uh, from what you can get from tortured poets, it was too much for Maddie to deal with the hate, and he basically ghosted her. Yeah, um, I mean, I can only imagine like trying to actually have like a real relationship with some somebody um, like Taylor Swift would be very oh, challenging. Yeah. Very very Absolutely. challenging. Would be hard especially and especially if you're like kind of a flighty artist man who yeah who is not used to being you know the number two in a relationship right right um 
And so that is, I think, the dealing the dealing with like, oh, her relationship, although ending in two very different ways and two d- very different relationships, ended the same. Mm-hmm. And it was due to the fact that she is bigger than a person. She isn't a person. She is a brand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and she's and she's been a brand for like a really long time. So that's like, you know, it's kind of like part and parcel. Um, yeah, and, and and her whole, I mean, her whole life. She what she broke rec- she started breaking records at age 15 right i mean even it was like even before like even before she was born like just the fact that her parents strategically chose the name taylor for her with like oh when people look at her on future job applications they're not gonna know right off that she's a girl that's gonna set her up for more success like Mm -hmm. before she was even born like this was how her life was set up for for like success in the way that the world is structured today Ooh, yep, all yep, this wheat yep. is ready, girl. Come, um, come harvest it. I will come. I will come harvest it. Um, and like that's gotta be woohoo, forty weeds. Hell yeah, that's gotta be so tough. Yeah. Like, as a person, and I know, and I also like not to diagnose anything, but well, yeah, we don't know. She, we're just we're just pretending and we don't know. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But she, like, I think that also she thinks of the world and sees the world differently than the average person does. Like, well, of she's, course, how could you not? How could you not? Yeah. Um, but also, like, the way that she thinks through things and the way that she does things. Like, she just is different. And that's got to be lonely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I wouldn't want to be Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you could not, you could not give me enough money. A billion dollars would not let yeah, me be yeah. Taylor Swift. Absolutely not. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no, no freaking way. No way in hell. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay, so do we think, do we think now that we've got Tortured Poet Society and we can see like the art that came out of her past, you know, most recent relationships, um, what, what does that make us think about like the current goings on with like Travis Kelsey and stuff? I think something truly tragic which i am sure a lot of swifties would disagree with me with Uh, i think unfortunately taylor swift uh is she has a song in on the anthology called prophecy which is basically about this idea of like she has been cursed to just be bad at love and that like her relationships are cursed to end and that she has been given all of this wonderful privilege and all the stuff that she does not want because she just wants to find a partner so fatalistic Uh, that's so fatalistic it is uh but like after after years and years and years of constantly having failing relationships i can understand getting there yeah um and i think that she's cursed to repeat some cycles uh because she probably hasn't learned (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh and that's that's hard yeah i'm sure yeah okay okay so it's now it's um it's still it's still sad times it's still sad yeah i think she's i think she's incredibly happy with travis yeah uh there's a couple of songs on the album about him and it sounds it sounds like she's very happy i think it is very very obvious from uh the being spotted in public that they Mm -hmm. are actually dating this is not the pr sort of relationship people thought it was yeah Um, i mean it seems like it to me maybe me (laughs) well (laughs) i'll I'll say this as somebody that's like not a swifty and like only i I really only keep up because i do like um a decent amount of her her music and of course like i have multiple friends who are serious swifties so um Mm -hmm. so like from that perspective like when i look at it it's kind of like oh well you know they're not exactly in the same world per se as like you know when she's dating an actor or a musician like a sports star is like a little bit different so it kind of makes me go oh you know maybe there's hope because then they're famous in completely different realms so they're not directly competing the way that she has directly competed like um professionally with most of her exes yes i'm also going to say i think that travis is also one of those guys who um likes having a partner that everybody else wants 
He sure seems to. He sure seems totally um, cool with her being, you know, the alpha. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's what I, I get. <laughs> and like getting and like in a way like getting like that is a, that is a boost to the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the is the fact that he's like, "Oh, everyone wants my girlfriend, but I have her, and so I'm going to fucking do everything I can to keep her." Yeah, um, like he seems <laughs> like he seems to really vibe with that. <laughs> which is awesome. To say the awesome. least. I think it's I think it's a very, I think that that and then the sports and non-competing are very, like, two very big reasons why, like, oh, this is going to be very different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lunar says, I agree 110%. Okay, so, okay, we've got agreement on on the Swifties. That's good. Yeah. But I think it's a, it's a beautiful album. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. It. Yeah. Um, I thought it was one of her best in terms of lyrics. Yeah, she's and, um, and li- her lyrics are always like the thing that that um, that I'm interested in. Um, as far as Taylor Swift goes, like she's a great performer yeah. and, and stuff, but her talent is in, in lyricism. You know, there are better singers out yeah. there than Ta- Taylor Swift. Like, let's be real. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, but her lyricism is really good. Her lyricism is beautiful. And I think that like this is poetry. Like she wrote yeah. an anthology of poetry. Uh, and it was fantastic, and we are not worthy in many ways. <laughs> um, and yet, <laughs> here we are. Okay, so how many albums does Taylor Swift have now? Like, I feel like uh, she has put out counting, more. Are you counting the re-records as no. individual albums? No, 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 not, uh, not with the re The then, reason why I'm asking is because I just yeah. feel like we just don't get this we don't we don't get an artist that's this popular that pumps out this much very often so it's like just kind of a unique thing and i just feel like like i just can't think of a pop artist that has released so many albums as her and still continue to stay popular like it's like a feat you know yeah so she this is 11 11 yeah okay so that's what i thought I thought um, so. I thought she was like past 10 at this point. Like, that's just freaking amazing. And she's not even old yet. Like, what the heck? Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. Um, she's done a insane job. Yeah. Um, sorry, I am like multi- literally multitasking. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to actually play the game. <laughs> trying to play the game and also talk at the same time is hard. It is, oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> God, streamers jobs streamers, streamers jobs are so, so hard, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um you heard it here first <laughs> but no she pumps out and and then of course like the re-records is a shit ton of work of course so, even though she's I not mean, writing how... re-recording yeah. it is still a lot so like there was a timeline of people in the last like 10 years if you count the re-records she has put out or five years in the last five years, if you count the re-records, seven albums. Yeah, because it's eight, accelerated. Eight albums. Yeah, it has accelerated. Like, I feel like it has gotten faster lately. It's like every time I blink, there's a new Taylor Swift album coming out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you and, know? and, like, a lot of those are the re-record. Like, she does she does two re-records between each new album. Yeah. Um. So she she dropped she dropped Lover right before the pandemic. She dropped right. two during the pandemic. Two re-records, Midnight's, two re-records, TT D, uh TT PS. Yeah, the poet the poet um, one. The poet one. Yeah. And then of course she has two more re-recording albums to do as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then she'll be finished and she'll have versions of all of her songs back, right? Yes. Yeah, that's exciting. It is very exciting. Um, if people aren't oversaturated, with, I mean, people already are oversaturated with. Yeah, her, I don't so know. It'll be very interesting to see what ends up happening. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do think because... a lot of people are oversaturated because her her haters are loud. Her haters are very very yeah. loud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you well, know? and also it doesn't it doesn't help that like like she's gotten the whole group of people who dislike her because she's dating travis i know and right the well, NFL that's a stupid... is capitalizing on her and... yeah but that's such a stupid reason to dislike her those people are so dumb you know oh i agree a hundred percent but it adds to the grumblings of we're it tired does. and oversaturated with taylor swift yeah 
Like I do, I think some of the the oversaturated stuff about her music is is kind of um is kind of valid. Like people saying they feel like she's just she. It's, media is so obsessed with her, and the news is so obsessed with her that she sucks up all the oxygen from other artists. Like I do think that there is a little something to that. You know, not saying oh, that's yeah. her fault, but um, but there is something to that. I, I think she does suck up the oxygen from other artists. Absolutely, I, I think I think you kind of like have to yeah <laughs> in some way yeah yeah um that when you get that like there's only so much room for media attention right and if she's taking up all of it then there isn't space for other artists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but also like when you're making history yeah like why she has like no incentive a level to of stop like, <laughs> Fuck why you, would I'm she? gonna do what I want, right? right? Like I mean, why would she stop? Like, there's no way she doesn't know that this isn't forever. So, you yeah. know, why would she stop? Um why would she stop and then why would like Yeah, why why wouldn't you like screw what the public is angry at? I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and yeah. do something that like not even the Beatles did in the height of record sales it's and true. things yeah. like that yeah and, uh, and, I'm gonna... and what a feat it if is to you're... make this much money in a spotify world as well you know oh yeah. yeah well like what there there was a whole thing sorry to turn this entire stream about taylor swift but <laughs> no i whole... asked i knew there was a lot <laughs> you, to that say is true. <laughs> and I There's was really curious whole... about your thoughts, because because I just I I just don't I don't uh, consume her in in the way that you do. Yeah. No, there was this whole thing of um, I believe after Adele's thirty did not meet a million like a million sales in the first as a, like a debut that yeah. the that the music industry kind of had determined that 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 style of artist was done yeah and they kind um, of like moved that, away that from that, no that one, soul voice yeah and that no one and that no one was gonna ever be able to sell a million copies their first week because we're too we're too busy streaming mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and then taylor has done it with the last three consecutive albums including right. one re-record yeah uh <laughs> Well, I think what and improves like... is that if you're going to sell that many albums nowadays, it really has nothing to do with your talent as an artist. It, it no. has to do with your talent at making people um, feel in, that they're in a parasocial relationship with you. That's what you have yes. to do to sell that many nowadays. Like, that's the only well, way. And then, and then also selling them in the, uh, the exploitative but also creative way that mm -hmm. she has with multiple mm -hmm. variants and different like additions yeah and, like she's, I mean, she's the, doing the pokemon are... thing where you have you know yes. it's red and blue and they're not exactly the same so oh my god maybe i have to buy both oh, the heck i have to convince my friend to buy you know blah 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 like you get it yeah and i don't want to i don't want to be like taylor swift is the only person to ever done that that's absolutely not true almost every single artist does it but she does it harder i think than anybody else in the game currently mm -hmm. um and that's like that is a lot <laughs> yeah so how much longer do you think she has before everyone's over her and uh and uh we are not in in taylor swift land anymore how long do you think she has it's a great question um i i think... just feel like i feel like at this point just the murmurings i see from her haters and the things that they're saying i just feel like the time is coming like we're gonna look back at some point and be like you know the whole travis kelsey thing and right wingers deciding they hated her that was like that's like the beginning of the end like we're gonna look I back and that, think that i think that the, that we're there i i do think that we are already there yeah um i i i do not think that she is going to be able to get through her re-records without the public turning against her yeah being like and even, um, even people being like eh, i just don't care anymore you know because that's really yeah. the death it's not the people hating you the death is when people are like i just like really another one i don't care eh, eh, I, i'm not sure we'll get to the i don't care um, I think we'll get to her breaking point before we do that. Oh, and like she'll retire or whatever. <laughs> or she'll or she'll do what she did before with like I need to run away. Yeah, yeah. I need and to just... I need to Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um I think that we'll get there. 
before any time else. I see. So like she'll give up before we get yeah. there. Or or like and I mean she's already did that. She did that during reputation, you know, that people yeah, yeah. Like the media turned against her and obviously like Kim Kardashian and that whole thing was yeah, part yeah. of it. But... Although honestly, like, Reputation is one of my favorite albums of hers, you know. Oh, and I love it. It's absolutely yes, but it's a lot of it's a lot of the fandom's favorite, but it was not the media. I mean, it is the only one of her, it is the only one of her albums of that era to, it was the first album to not be nominated for a Grammy. Grammy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, And that was because of how she was perceived in the public. Yeah. 100%. For sure. For Uh, sure. And it was like, as much as we want to be like, oh, Grammy is not a, is not a winning game. It is. There was no reason why Midnight should have won uh, album of the year because it was great. There were some great songs, but it was not album of the year this last year. Mm-hmm. Um, but because Taylor Swift is so famous and so big, the Grammys gave it to her. Yeah. Um, and just like this, I think that she's because she is oversaturated. I don't think that this one will get nominated for a Grammy, uh, because she's going to be oversaturated. Yeah. Yeah. I don't public. think it will either. Even though I, I thought it was pretty good, you know. Yeah. Um. So it'll be just a very interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this downfall. Yeah. Because it is, it's a lot. Yeah. And it does. <laughs> it just, don't... it just, it feels like the beginning of people being like, I don't care about Taylor Swift anymore. <laughs> and like, yeah. I've moved on, <laughs> you know, it just, it really feels like that. Uh, okay. Time to sell my shit. All right, I mined so many things. Hopefully we can make some more iron for some more keys. Awesome. Uh, I was just working on Elios. I have I met with Elios and <gasps> now I have to Yay! wait two days and I got like some, I fought off the robbers and now I have to wait two days for him to come back. Okay, okay. Uh, so and then after that, at. I should, yeah. Then you should get that, the quest. I have to go, I have to go on the quest to discover the elven city. Yeah. I'll go when, whenever you get that, I'll go with you. Yeah. I think I have to go like talk to someone and then talk to someone else first. Yeah. Somehow we both fit in the single bed. <laughs> oh, both of our characters have wings. This is probably the most uncomfortable sleeping ever. <laughs> yeah. We're just like <laughs> very uncomfy. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry if I poked you with my horns. It was an accident. I poked you with mine, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> All right, so that you can level up your farming, I'll let you harvest stuff. Like, I'm, I'm not harvesting Thanks. it on purpose. And there's stuff over here on Lunar's Farm to harvest as well. I will be since, there in a bit. Since you are behind, you probably should harvest it. I have nothing to do but wait for two days. So yeah. I shall do that. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away then and leave that. Do we have everything too. in the summer pack growing at the? I think we're growing it. I think it's we're growing it down um, in this farm on the front of my house. Okay. I think that's what all these are basically. Okay. Okay, Lunar's going to eat now, and then she will be joining us. Yay! Hell yeah! We'll have our little wolf girl. I'd love to. I'd love to know what her favorite songs are on the album. Yeah, Lunar. When you get here, tell us um, about your faves um, from the album. Like what your what say, your thoughts are. I will say that this album was so fucking funny. Yeah. Um, like Daddy, I love you. With it being like I'm having his baby, uh, and then being like, No, I'm not. But you should see your face. I thought that was very funny. Okay. Yeah. That was. That is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and and a few other a few other moments of just pure like I'm like oh she's fucking with us. <laughs> Good to know she's she's having the time of her life right now. Okay. Well, I mean it, it, it kind of makes sense, right? That that's what's popular is like memeing on your fans. Oh yeah, right. Like um like the a Doja Cat thing. I mean she she takes it kind of too far, but you know what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. So I think Taylor Swift is probably saying like, oh, 
This is what the people like. Understood. This I can is do what this. they like. I can do I, <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Okay, how many keys do I have now? It's just two. Can I? I have so many copper keys. Yeah, and we don't. We don't... Need them anymore. I don't think we need them anymore. I don't. I don't know of anything else that's open by copper keys. Um, and we've already opened all those floors on the mines. Um, there are random oh. chests around the world that require iron keys, but I just don't know of of ones that require copper keys. Oh my gosh, oh, Lynn has a quest for me. <gasps> yes, I got my first date with Lynn. Nice. Okay, so I have to meet her at her house at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We're going to the beach. We're going to have a beach off. I think in my game, she and Nathaniel have a thing. Oh, really? So if you don't yeah. date her, she she's like kind of like, oh, about Nathaniel? Yeah, they're like oh. really like awkwardly oh. like with each other. Interesting. I did not know about this. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, we have so much stuff from our uh, sheep and chickens and <laughs> everything. I did not collect those earlier. I'm gonna make. I, some I fun haven't stuff been going here. in there. I went in there once to pet them. Can we make anything? Surely we can make stuff. I'm sure we can, like in the cooking pot or something, um, yeah. or in the baker thing. Oh, well, thing. I could have made cook cookies. Oh. Um. What's some stuff we want to make that we can sell for a pretty high price? I don't know. I think, like, for the most part, like, I mean, I haven't, like, dug into it, but I, I think for the most part, making stuff that you make always sells for more than the raw ingredients. Oh, it yes, it does. Yeah, um, so we can just I'm make I'm just whatever. trying to say, I was like, oh, I can make an egg tart. Well, it's like egg tarts versus egg hash. It's like $200 or 200 coins different. Oh. So I want to... I want to have some fun, and then we can make cheese, and then that cheese, cheese. will uh, allow us to make pizza, which will be more. Cooking is my favorite thing, on, I think, in this game. I know fishing is my favorite thing on the other one, but cooking has my heart here. The cooking is really dynamic. Like, there's so much complexity to it, but it's also set up in a way that, like, you can kind of do whatever, and it's not really going to, like, hurt your game or anything. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's really fun. Like, the amount of options are kind of ridiculous in this game. I like it a lot. I am making lots of ingredients for us. Oh my gosh, this is why. There we go. Okay, so we've talked about Taylor Swift. Um, there is like another new new thing, but this is like all the kids are watching this. And Landon, since you're a teacher, maybe you can oh. maybe you have seen this, or you can tell me a little bit about it. So I started trying to watch Has Been Hotel. Um, okay, love so I watched, Has so Been Hotel. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Before we get too much into it, so I watched the pilot way back when, right? And I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also watched a lot of Hell of a Boss. And, okay. and liked that. I'm only three episodes into Has Been Hotel. The first three episodes so far, Landon, it's bad. I, I've what? been told it gets better. The first three episodes are so bad. They're so I boring. Think, I love you. I think you're wrong. I, I don't. <laughs> truly, I think you are wrong. The first three episodes are so boring, and the songs come out of nowhere. And I don't. Why do I care about any of these characters? It, it's the first it's so bad i've been told it gets better and to keep going Interesting. but like episode four is my favorite i will say that okay um, so my next so the next episode i watch is gonna be where it starts to get better uh, but i also don't think if you care about the characters nothing's gonna make you care about the characters like i i i i personally think that they did a, like i it was one of the only cartoons that i actually like <laughs> 
<laughs> like I well, liked I liked Hasbin Hotel more than I liked any of the animes that we watched. Okay, so that kind of blows my mind because I know you're not yeah. like a cartoon person at all. No. So so like okay, so tell me so if you liked it from from go like from the very first episode, mm-hmm. w- like what drew you in? I think the concept drew me in. I thought it was a really interesting concept um, to have a some like this this uh place where people want to go to be redeemed or someone who so desperately wants to redeem people and save her people like i love the character of charlie oh my gosh i just got a whole shit ton of things oh, uh, walking into the museum um i do think that uh, I really liked the character dynamics. I liked that I came in to the show and it felt like I was not like um, like being introduced to everything. Like most of it had already like like it, it was already established and I felt like I had to keep up with it. Like rather than be like, this is happening and then this is happening. Okay, that okay. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes um, sense. I really liked uh a that it is intended for an adult audience and the <laughs> jokes are for adults uh-huh. uh i love a lot i mean i'm i'm a broadway fan you know this about me yeah, so, so course, i'm in love with a lot of the like voice actors and characterizations of them um i think that i liked the concept certainly wish there were more episodes so things could go deeper alistair i think is one of the greatest like portrayals of truly um morally gray protagonists yeah so alistair i don't know why he's at that hotel i'm on the third episode and he doesn't care about being redeemed why why the heck is he there i don't get it great question why is he there yeah why is he there what what is he planning why is he clearly something clearly something but why i guess we'll have to find out Okay, so let me ask you this. They, Did you watch yes. Invader Zim back in the day? No. Okay. All right. I hear. And it. then I also will say I have not liked Hell of the Boss. I've tried Hell of the Boss and I do not like it. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. I am in the collecting data stage. Like I said, I've only watched three episodes. So like my opinion might totally change once I get to the end. Because um, it's very popular for a reason, obviously. But I will tell you, these first three episodes, this is what watching it feels like to me. Now, this is coming... I know I love Vivzy Pop's art. I think it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm still enjoying that, despite everything else. But it feels like I am on AO3, and I've clicked on a fic, and, and the author's note at the top says that this fic is a script for a musical, and then I proceed to read something that is structured, nothing like a script for a musical would ever be structured by anybody who knew anything about musicals. That's what it feels like watching the first three episodes of this I think show. I think it is very, I think it's campy. But I it's think super there are campy, that, of, I don't have a problem uh, with that part. A lot of musical element, like that, that seem very legit. But the songs, like, the songs come out of nowhere so far. They don't, I mean, they, it's because what, when you're in a musical, the song happens when the feelings are too big to start to talk about, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I feel so strongly about this that I have to sing about it, okay? Yes. And so far, none of the characters that have sung are conveying like such a strong emotion like the only time it's happened so far where i was like okay i get why this is a song is in the third episode that i just watched um where vaggy i think that's her name is her name it vagina is. yes it, okay that's what i thought but i was like am i mishearing that i'm not 100 percent sure if that's true okay nope. so her name her is name vagina. is her name okay. is vagina yes okay got it so when um she's like all sad about like oh i ran i was supposed to be in charge of like running this trust day and i did really bad boohoo okay but it's not even her song the song starts with this character we've never met before why do i care what she cares about i don't know anything about this woman and then vaggy comes in and it's like oh okay well i know why she's singing but she barely gets a part in the song it should have been her song from the from the first part not this random other character that we've never freaking met i do agree that i think that like what's tough about a show like this is that it is so 
ensemble that everybody in the world is a major player. Yeah, it's too maybe that, it's that was too not, ensemble. And and that was not introduced as well. I do think that like how they introduced it was that the concept of this is going to be Charlie's story. But then it's clearly and it's, not. And it's like not. by episode three, I know it's not. <laughs> but that is what um, I thought. But when then, I, but then all of a sudden, know. you're getting Carmen. You're getting Car- Carmen, and you're like, why are we? Like, why are we singing about? Why is this random person singing? They're not important to the story when they are. They're like one of the people of hell, right? Like they're one of the sure, sure. Um, but I have no reason to believe or overlords. understand that at this point, other than yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, I absolutely. assume I assume it's going to come back around, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, but there's there's been nothing there's been nothing that like clued me into that um, thematically. I only know that because oh, I've yeah. watched enough TV to know that's probably going to happen. Not because the TV show did anything to clue me in. I can respect that and I can I can totally see why that is like jarring yeah it doesn't feel not and doesn't feel natural well it, it's not that it doesn't feel natural it just feels like very amateur like no writer went for like paused for a second and said like hey you know at, by the end it all wraps up but episode to episode people are not going to feel what you're wanting them to feel. We need to like do some things, you know, Mm -hmm. and it it, it baffles me that clearly no one in the writer's room paused and said that. So, yeah, I'm, I I understand it supposedly gets better. I'm only on episode three. Um, Did you binge it or did you watch it? I binged it. You binged it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you would have never no. you you wouldn't have stopped and 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 had gaps in between and been like wait what huh you just kept going I and I didn't yeah I didn't want to like I liked it enough that I was like oh I want to find, figure out what happens to these characters I want mm-hmm. to like I I wasn't invested by the characters and mm-hmm. the the unique choices like God Angel Alaster and Angel uh, and Husk even like all of them were like really and Vox oh my gosh uh, I liked the villains I liked the characters I thought they were interesting. Um, I had seen enough on social media that I was like, okay, I want to know a little bit more. I was entertained by Mm -hmm. them. Like, I was like, oh, the jokes are funny. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. And I I liked it. Okay. Okay. Um, And I had known, like, a few of the songs from TikTok. So I was wondering where, like, some of these songs came into play. Yeah, I have seen, um, I have been spoiled on what some of the songs are because of TikTok. That is true for me, too. So, and yeah. so I was like, oh, where, oh, that's where this song's from and stuff like mm. that. Like that, mm-hmm. that was, that also helped drive me in. Mm-hmm. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Because it's very popular, right? So I'm sure you've experienced this yeah. before. When you watch something that's very popular and you're like, I'm not sure this deserves the popularity that it's got. It's very, um, it, it's very jarring, especially, and I assume you're like me too, like you watch and read so much stuff that uh this should not be hard for you to understand right um yeah so when i'm watching it and i'm like i don't think i think this is more popular than it deserves to be like it's a very strange feeling what i hope what i hope happens is that they are i i know that they've already been greenlit but i am oh yeah they're getting a season two for I'm hoping they're getting greenlit for more than eight episodes. Mm. i think that truly is the worst thing oh hello lunar Lunar. Hello. Um, Hello. Hello. I think that that is truly one of the worst things that they did, that they set themselves up for failure, is that they only did eight episodes. Okay. I think if they had 12, I think if they had 12 episodes, a lot of those problems, like with the, it being an ensemble cast that's too big for eight episodes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. would have been solved. Mm-hmm. Because they would have had more you breathing room. You, yeah, you... And you could have like we could have learned to care about Carmina, right? We could have right because then they could have about... had they could have had like the first episode was Charlie's episode, and then the second episode was like Carmina's episode, and the third episode yes. was Alistair's episode, or whatever. You know that uh, would have been a much better way to structure it, I, I in my opinion. And these runaway lines of like you know Alistair will get a line in there every once in a while, dropping hints as to why he's here they wouldn't be lost in the shuffle because you could spend a little bit more time with it mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yes but also it's expensive to animate a show and you don't know how well it's gonna do i understand why they greenlit it for eight but i think that that was yeah the one oh, yeah. complaint i had and anime a lot of times has these same kinds of problems because of the how expensive the medium of animation is 
so yes. I know I know that well. There are many many bad animes in the world <laughs> because animation is very expensive. So expensive, a lot yeah. goes into it. Yeah. Lunar. Hi, Lunar. Okay. Hello. F favorite songs from the new Taylor Swift album? Go. <clears throat> okay, so I really enjoyed the tortured poets department because of the beat. Mm. Um, okay. But I really, really, really love I Can Do It With a Broken Heart. Strictly of because course. Um, I'm so depressed, but I act like it's my birthday every day. Um, I'm so obsessed with him, but he avoids me like the plague. And um, I cry a lot, but I'm so productive. It's an art. I'm just that, like me. That yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, me. I was like, oh, I get that one. That one? Yes. I was like, <laughs> yes. I so. also am so surprised, so surprised that we do not have a music video for it yet. Same. Um, I know. I, think it's I can't. Very I thought it instantly. That was, should I'm have like, been like the, the initial drop. That should have been like the initial drop. Like when the I, album dropped, the music video dropped. You're so right. So I, can song. Under, I can understand why it's not in marketing. The last thing she wants to do is piss off her fans, right? And this yeah, song yeah. is so clearly about uh, her being super depressed while on tour. Um, and so like that being the first like yeah, impression but... of this album, I think a lot of people would have been like, what the fuck is this? You're, you're probably Hiding right, it but down... for, for the casual <laughs> fan like me, I honestly would have appreciated that because some Swifties are in fucking Fair. sin and deserve to be upset by Taylor. Oh yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, like absolutely. some of the fandoms just bonkers. Like need, they need to like be taken down a peg. Yes, they yeah. are. <laughs> Uh, and that, I mean, that's what, like, Daddy, I Love Him and I Can Do It With A Broken Heart are yeah, both yeah. very much, like, directed towards that of being like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. so I won't, I won't lie. When she says that she's having his baby, I was in the car with my friends. I took that day off work and I squealed so loud. I woke up her baby. Um, oh, and no. then she comes back right away and says, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm not really. Um, but you just see your faces. And I was like, oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should see your faces. I so did everybody else. It's very, very fun. Oh my um, gosh, we got a sun dragon to... scale. Did y'all get that too? Yes, I, I did. did. Uh, I have to ask Lunar, what was the moment that you realized that the that the uh the album was about Melly Meta Healy? When when did you, that click for you? When you were like, uh, oh my god, is she singing about Maddie Healy? Um <laughs> there's I think it's called the smallest man that ever lived. I think that's that, the song. Oh, wow. Where she we took that long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, that was not, not to throw shade. Sorry. That sounded no, like shadier it's, than I meant for it to. It should, no, it sh it's shameful. Um, <laughs> because I listened to it like that night, but I was so excited. And then she dropped her second album, the part yes. two. And then I went with my friends and we listened to it again on the way to the bookstore. And then we've been listening to it every day in my classroom with the babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then huh, I think it one on does. Thursday where I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I gasped, scared my co-teacher. She's like, what? What? What's wrong? And I was like, this is about Maddie Healy. And she's like, who? What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Who? No, I have never heard of a Maddie Healy. <laughs> she got I don't to think have a Maddie in our classroom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, no, I got to tattooed golden retriever and I went, Joe doesn't have any fucking tattoo. What the fuck? <laughs> well, Taylor, oh my gosh! How did don't... I miss that? Oh, I was like, Taylor, God, don't so do this. You were in a relationship with this man for 36 seconds. Pops. Lunar, it's not your fault. You were in Taylor Swift bliss, yeah, of, you, you know, were... with the new album. Of course, you, you know, you weren't picking up on every little thing. You were letting no, it just wash you were... over you. You were appreciating the art on how it should be rather than like thinking about the boys that it's based off of. Uh, you were like appreciating the art of it. Right. Uh, I am just a monster and was just like, <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing? How uh, because are you like, so obsessed with this band? <laughs> when I heard when I heard that song, I was like, does Travis Kelsey have any tattoos? Because I know Joe doesn't. So now, now it makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah no i was like oh and then every song after that i was like god they're all about him what is happening <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, this is why bad. Taylor Swift can't ever settle down, okay? So if her and Travis no. Kelsey, like, works out, then this really is, like, the beginning of her end era. Because then what the heck is she going to make lyrics about? Right? I think she is <laughs> going to get... I think she is going to... Uh, I think... I, I I could see her and Travis getting married. I you know, I, I really could, too. Like, it just... It, I don't know. When I see them together, it just looks different to me it does yeah um and so i i could see that happening but i do think like that search for a muse will be something that plagues her i think she'll yeah. have a difficulty like yeah again what is she gonna write about when when mm-hmm. she's found the thing that she's been writing about for so long right mm-hmm. okay landon are you at the farm right now where you can check on on I am. okay can, so these are the things we need to grow can you make sure that that's what we're growing. Um, so we need a guava, a beet, a melon, a durian, and a storm melon. Do we have I each of those? I believe that's all of what we are growing over here, yes. Okay, perfect, in that little spot, okay. Yes, yeah. then we, we did plant everything we needed to at the beginning of summer. We need, cool. do, we, do we have pineapples to give this this thing on the beach? Um, I have pineapples. He wants mangoes and pineapples. Yeah, there's um, there's mangoes and pineapples our... planted. I don't know if they're ready. I have seven. I have seven pineapples. I'll go feed it to him. And in the mines, there's this armadillo thing in the way. After my date with Lynn, I'm gonna I'm gonna go feed him. I don't know if I grabbed enough stuff, but that's where a lot of our ore is. I grabbed it because he wanted like ore and rubies and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, we need three more pineapples for this guy. Okay. There uh, should be some growing. Like growing. I don't think so. I think I might have cooked them. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. You can. We can go get more. I'll go do that in a second and print and do stuff. I'm just watering the flowers that need to be watered and getting oh, all of the things. Oh, that's not Lynn's house. Lynn's oh, house might, is over here. I do have to go speak to Rosa. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my beach date, Lynn. Oh, you're riding a mount. Yeah, I just, saw, I just saw that pop up. <clears throat> Isn't she cute? She's very cute. I'm a wolf. Uh, I'm gonna make some cute. small fishing nets. Do we have any small fishing nets? I think we can make some. Okay, I'll make some. I'll make one. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna make a quilt for us to sell and some socks for us to sell. I think I clicked the wrong thing. I made Lynn sad at one point. I told myself I would oh. read more carefully, and then I just literally didn't do it. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, well, I had my date with Lynn. I don't have a diamond. Oh, apparently we have some more pineapple hanging out in the okay, chest. Okay, good. Oh, good. So I will grab the pineapple. I just don't know where mangoes are, where the mangoes are. I, sh I should have planted them right next to the pineapple. It might still be growing. Okay. Wait, where are the pineapple? It says we have seven, but they're hiding. Well, we have lots of little farm plots, so you might just need to check around. Hmm. So, Lunar, what have you been up to? Working. Working. <laughs> Me too. Um, Ew. But also, I've been working on the forum, and it's almost ready to open, so I'm very excited oh! about that. Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm so excited for you. I'm very excited about that. I got I enlisted my friend um, to help me with all the coding, and she, can, she does amazing things. So, oh um... I'm really excited. I got one of my friends already interested in it, and then one of my friends that stopped role playing because of all the drama. She wants to be in on it, and I have another friend that wants to be in on it. So I'm like, good. We have like four people. That's great. Oh my gosh, is that that's like plenty to like really get started and have something uh -huh. going. So I'm very excited about that. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, JSync is not the easiest to code. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when I told her that that was that's the site that I or the domain that I chose, she was like, "Oh, that's great! I have three forums on that. I can do all your coding." And I was like, "Oh, perfect." <laughs> so and I yeah, added, Jace like, little awards and badges and all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, JSync is really old, so it's like it's not the easiest. So that is really awesome that uh, that you had somebody that knew how. <laughs> I'm very I'm very thankful. Yes. Okay. So if, so when do you have like a date? Like when are you debuting the new forum? I'm hoping by midsummer, and if not midsummer, then definitely by the beginning of the school year. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So sometime in the next like few, three or four months. Yes. I don't want to okay. rush it and it, it open and it fail. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Well, you'll definitely have to like po post a link in the cafe when you oh, um, unveil it, so we can go, we can go see it, see what you made. I'm very excited. Yeah. Very, very excited. Yeah. So, like, I'm sorry, like, you had the drama in that one RP that you've been in for forever, but it sounds like you're able to make some really good, uh, some good things as your outcome for that. It's okay. It was disheartening, but you know. There's only so much you can, you know, stand when you're trying to play your hobby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Before it stops becoming a hobby and starts becoming stressful. Yeah. I mean, why do it? Like, what's the point? Like, we we already have stress from, like, having to live our regular lives. Like, <laughs> you know, RPing should not be stressful. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So I'm just thankful that I had friends that will back me up and also felt the same way that we yeah. can just band together and do something different and still have fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm excited for you. We all think that this could be a very big thing, so. Yeah. It's like, yay. You know, that's something like that's so cool about role playing. Like it just blows my mind that like forum role play is like still a thing that people are doing all these years later. Like that's just so amazing. That is it's so cool. Ever since I've done a forum roleplay, I've been on my that chat based site forever. Yeah. Yeah. But like but it's just crazy. It's just crazy because like you would never think. You know. Forums are just so web 1.0, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's just amazing. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. There we go. All right, I gotta get another rusty key so I can go feed this armadillo. Hopefully I brought enough stuff. Lunar, we went to we went to the elf land last time, right? E yes. Okay. I have to make sure I'm not getting my stream game and my personal game confused. <laughs> All right, I have just gotten that I can talk to Amanda at the library to find out about the elves, and then I have to go grow the grow the seeds and do the thing, and so on. Okay. So you're a couple. You're only a couple days away now. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So we'll be going back to Elfland. Lunar, uh, how you said that you are you in school or are you teaching? Do you teach? I teach. I teach. I'm um, the teach. lead teacher in the Invic classroom. Uh, she teaches Bebes. Yeah, Bebes. Yeah, that's why we can. Uh, I can get away with listening to Taylor Swift because they can't understand. They can't. <laughs> <laughs> but they dance to her, so I'm like, that's cute. <laughs> no, my children only complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, oh, it, is yeah. is. Taylor Swift for old people? Like, do the, the teenagers not like it? Uh, it's not that they don't like it. In fact, I have a lot of uh, friends, or like friends. Oh my god, sorry. I just read the word friends. I have a lot of students who um, 
who enjoy Taylor Swift. I think the fact that I like it though, and then make them listen to it, oh. uh, is something that they don't like. And then I it's see. just like one of those things where it's like, I'm gonna complain. It's more like, like okay. because I didn't choose the music, I'm gonna whine. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, and so it's like one of those things where I'm like, I, am, I make jokes all the time. They know I'm obsessed with Taylor. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that the ones that are also obsessed with Taylor will will still like talk to you a little about it, you know? Oh, right? absolutely, they do. Yeah, and they love it. Um, so it's that's fun, but it is one of those things where it's like, all right, you can complain, but do your work, and then I mean, it, won't, it makes sense. It'll be fine. <laughs> if the teacher likes it, it's automatically a little bit less cool. <laughs> exactly. Which is a shame because they should just see how cool I am. It's true. <laughs> Hopefully, they, they should just hope that they'll be as cool as you when they grow up. Alas, probably not. I don't think I'm lame. <laughs> Which is a true tragedy. <laughs> Sometimes I love the cuts, the cutscenes because one like literally leaves, one character leaves the room and then is there as soon as the cutscene ends, and I'm just like, man, <laughs> I love the lack of consistency. It makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty freaking funny. Okay, I, I think I oh, did I it. Should... Yes, I have I to craft gloves. Hmm? I have to craft delicate gloves oh yes yeah you do so many things okay i made it to the third tier of the mine so y'all can go down there now to that third tier wow yeah unlocked it for us um we need some more iron keys though to get it permanently unlocked is it iron keys or i think it might be the next thing it's going to be the next thing on that next floor, but I think I need like three more iron keys to like permanently unlock the layers. Oh, that to permanently. I, I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, because all I did was I got to the end and I um got past the armadillo guy for us. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, there's Look. two iron keys are right here hanging okay. out. I'm going to come grab so them. So we have most of them already. Uh, what was I trying to do? I had a thought. You have thought to make the gloves. Away from me. You have to make the Thank gloves. Thank you! Jeez, oh, it would be so bad. <laughs> yeah, you need those. Or they won't give you the book. I'm gonna put a small fishing guy right there. Yay! And now it'll it'll catch some fish for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. There was two being made. Okay, I think I need. Like, yes, but I think we have. Four. I think Did there's you find some two iron in the chest or something. No, 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 no. The two being made is the one I was. Oh, okay. Referring to. Okay, I need to make some more iron. All right, so we're running into the problem now where we don't have enough coal. So I'm going to have to farm some coal. I have one lump of coal. Yeah, we need, we need lots of coal. Um, Yeah, we can cut down all those oh trees to get coal. I love the mount! The strawberry <laughs> cat! I remember Thank seeing you. it on your stream when you were streaming, so I it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Um... We can, what's my call it? Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. What are you trying to say? Oh, we can cut down those trees in front of the barn and make coal. Oh, yes. Um, don't cut trees down, though, until it they're like... Um, Bigger, at yes. The, yeah, at the maximum, because that we won't... It's better to do that than, um, than yep. uh, get the wood. 
Um, and then also the carts that sell, the cart sells, I think, like a hundred gold worth of wood a day or whatever, makes a decent amount of coal as well. We can oh, buy that every day. I've never done that. I didn't do that in my game. I guess I should have. Do that because I was just making, I was like, because also like when you get to the elven place, you have to make so much coal and there's no easy way to make the coal there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Constantly buying coal, it feels like. <laughs> all right. I have all the flowers I think we need for the flower bundle growing. Okay. Yay. All right. I move. I, we have enough animal feed now, I feel like, because I have the perk where I'm oh, getting it every day. Cool. I have 64. Right oh, put them, start, put, my... go put them in the feeders. Anyway, I just moved the chickens over to the coop so they'll produce more. So put, put some awesome. in both of the feeders. Will do. God, it's so nice that you can just hold it down and do it. Know, right? Instead of having to click every single one, like in some games. Yeah, this game really was like, how can we help with the quality of life situation? And like, they really did something. All right. There are about 40 in each. Okay, yay. Not you. One the anvil. Okay. Oh, I have to catch a sea bass. Okay. Did y'all okay. hear about the guy in Wyoming that ran down a wolf with his snowmobile? No, what? No. Brought it to his house, taped its mouth shut, let his dogs attack it, brought it <gasps> to the bar, prided it around the bar, and then took it out back and unalived it. Isn't that what like, um, isn't that like super <clears throat> illegal? Like, you can't do that to a wolf, right? He got fined $250, and that's all. That's it? Jesus. I would think it would be way more than that. Because mm -hmm. uh, I thought uh, that was like super illegal because there's so many areas of the country where the population is so low. He got fined two hundred and fifty dollars, and that was all. Oh my god, he definitely deserved a way bigger fine than that. I hope he but, was poor, and so that two hundred and fifty dollars hurt a lot. I hope. And then after after all that happened, um, his family um, used the wolf to reenact the horrible crimes that he committed. Yikes! So they're all trash I, people. I want to know why no one in the bar was like, "Hey." What the heck are you doing? Oh no, it's midnight. I passed out. I passed out on our farm. I was oh, so distracted by it and sad about the wolf store. Oh my God. Sorry. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was busy thinking about the sad wolf situation. I didn't even notice. Dang. Oh, did Hi, Braille. Sell anything today? Oh God. Hi, Braille. How are you doing? <laughs> I am I passed out. I need this doctor to help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is this the first time I passed out in our in our thing? I don't know. Passed out like 17,000 times. Yeah, I know I in my personal out, game so. I passed out, but I'm in our game. How much did they charge you? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think they charged me. I think I got the first little cutscene. Okay, I'm good. Then, slept yeah, in I really wa sure. late and still waking up. Oh, Braille, that sounds amazing. That sounds so good. I don't sleep in late anymore. My body doesn't No, do it's it. the worst thing. I know. I think the thing that I've discovered is that I truly am like a sunshine creature, which I hate personally for the aesthetic. Isn't, isn't, that, like, um, isn't that like so, like when you realize that, like, oh... I'm not a night owl, actually. I just was a teenager. I just was a teenager. <laughs> and for me, well, what, what I hate is how deeply I am impacted by the sun. So right? it's like, oh, right now, I'm getting up super freaking early because the sun, super freaking early. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, but when the sun isn't early, life is miserable. Yes. Trying to get up early before the sun is the worst yeah. thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. The sun's great, but the internet gets more interesting after 3 a.m. I can't That's disagree true. with you. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> What was I trying to do today before I got so distracted by passing out? Oh, yeah. I need to go to the mines. I need to go to mines and unlock them doors so y'all can um, get adamantite, too. And, now, Landon, do you have I, um, iron tools or do you have copper tools? I have some of both. Okay. So since I, I think I'm about to go unlock everything, let me just go make sure that we don't need any more iron keys to progress in the mines. And then we should start using the iron to get your tools upgraded and make more keys for the various chests that need the oh. iron keys. Because you can farm iron really easily if we have all those, all those second tier levels unlocked, which I think I'm about to go do. If oh, you want to upgrade your stuff. What about you, Lunar? What do you, what tools do you have? Uh, copper. Copper. Okay. Well, all the those areas of the mine are open, so you can farm iron really easily and um and uh, make some better tools. I'm gonna go do that now. Bro, do you like Sunhaven? I can't remember. Do you like this game? Have you played Sunhaven? But yeah, I pretty much wake up with the sun too. If I sleep in, what actually is happening is I'm waking up at like my normal time and then somehow like I'm, I'm able to go back to sleep and sleep a little more. But there is none of this like, you know, wake up at 9 a.m. Like that doesn't happen. You yeah, know, that does if, not I, happen. if I wake up at 9 a.m., it's because I woke up at 6 and then I went back to sleep and I had like a nap basically. Yeah, I've definitely done that. I've, and I have certainly had like lazy mornings where I've mm -hmm. stayed in bed until yeah. an insane amount of time. Yeah. But I, uh, I wake up. <laughs> yeah. That's my version of sleeping in too, you know, is way is getting up in the morning, but not doing anything. And it truly is the worst. Like it is the worst that you can't sleep in. Like yeah. I, I have coworkers who are still talking about like sleeping in until nine or ten, and I'm like, mm -mm. yeah. I also realize though I am also like aligned with my mother in the fact of being like I also don't like to get up super early. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like when I have kids, it's gonna be real tough because all of them are gonna want to get up at like really truly the crack of dawn and i'm gonna be like yeah. no stay yeah there's a period Don't for kids when they're when they're really little where they just they just wake up at like five six in the morning and that's just that's just how it is and they're kids so they don't know how to just be quiet you know yeah. they don't know Okay, I can't remember who the toy dinosaur belongs to, but I, I have one. I think it belongs to one of the kids. It's Liam's kids. Liam's it's kids? Brit, okay. it's, it's one of her, I think it's one of his brothers or sister. It's either his, or one of his sisters. Oh my gosh, I've got a cat hair in my lip gloss again. Get out. Okay. The worst. I, I know, right? Braille says, I've not played it, but it looks like something I would like. Well, if you liked Stardew Valley or any of those kind of games at all, you would definitely like it because it's basically just a better version of all of those. Like, honestly... It's my favorite farming sim I've ever played at this point. I've played enough of it that I think I can confidently say that. Yes. Yeah, and I've played a lot of them. Like, the first farming sim I think I ever played was, like, the Harvest Moon on the N64. But... I'm an elf. I should be able to speak the ancient elf language. Right? That's not fair. It's not fair. Like, you didn't learn your roots as a kid. Nobody taught you. Landon, that's so sad. Your parents failed I you. I don't want to have to do all of this. <laughs> you poor thing. It's hard being me. Yeah, for real. It's so hard. 
This guy is going to tell me to go pick grapes. Yep, and then you have to do, and then it's like, no, and then I have to like fail you know what happened, making right? Grapes, even yeah, I know how to make. This is the problem with replaying games for me. True, I just don't have the patience. <laughs> yeah. Now I have to go back to the library. <sighs> but once you catch up, like I'll go with you to Elfland. Thanks. I just like to complain really loud about stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, when you know what's going to happen, it's like funny. and It's like, oh, why can't I just do the mana? Eh. <sighs> I just know what to do. Oh, I wonder who has this stung, the stone of tongues. Who could ever have that? Oh, it Anne, does exist good, right here. Love it when you're right outside of the library and I'm looking for you. Stop running away from me, though. <laughs> Baby, I'm trying to come love back. you. You can play. So I do kind of, I do kind of wanna. I do kind of wanna like try to date this girl too. Which one? Anne. Anne, yeah, I like Anne too. Just you know, that's sure what... she doesn't avoid you like the plague. This is one of the things in regards to Sunhaven that makes me really, really like it and, and kind of say it's my favorite farming sim is there's not a single character that does not interest me. You know, like I either I, I, I have like feelings about all the characters. I think they're all like so cool and interesting. Yes. Yeah. That's a feat. I just told I just told Liam that if I get married, he's making the cake. And in <gasps> my head, I was like, when I get married to you, you're gonna make yeah, the cake. Yeah, like you're making our wedding cake, <laughs> right, Liam? <laughs> right. <laughs> I believe. The uh, west, the western forests. Wait, where's our seeds? Oh, this one, okay. All right, some of this stuff has to go back to Elfland, where it belongs. Have to go find Anne's treasures. You can do it. Thanks. I would say also even if you're not that into farming sims but you have liked you've liked animal crossing or other kind of like life sim type of things um this would probably also appeal to you because it's got um it is a farming sim primarily but if it, it's got plenty of role play elements that um that i think even if you're not like super into farming sims this could be one that you would still enjoy I do regret not having a crossbow in this in in my in this version. The crossbow right? is the superior choice. It is the superior choice by far. Like there's no contest. I don't know why, why they been, yeah yeah they should just give you a, the crossbow and the sword both because like if you make the wrong choice like it really makes your progress very slow up until you get to the elf land and you can buy a crossbow. Ah, uh, dang it! Why didn't I bring two berries so I could fly back? I was organizing our stuff in Elfland, and um, I only brought one berry because I'm dumb. Oh, berries are one of those things that I am always, I always keep on me. Yeah, like, nope, yeah. Always have berries. Always have my berries. Always have like, uh, a couple of other like my weapons and tools and stuff like that. And I always have berries. Right. Because like, I'm like, nope. The last thing I want to freaking do is have to go back through the woods. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I'm having to hoof it. All right, here we go. 
We're gonna gonna travel. Maybe I'll maybe it'll be worth it. Well, I already found a manatome, so you know that's pretty good. Run away! I'm cutting down this wood in the tr in the forest. Yeah, eventually you need so much wood and coal that like eventually you just have to chop chop down all the trees <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Hello, please leave me alone. Stop chasing me. I am just a simple woman trying to chop down a tree. <laughs> yeah, why would they mess with you for that? You should be able to chop down any tree you want. Yeah, come on. Leafies, leave me alone. <laughs> Well, okay, maybe it wasn't so bad having to walk back because I did find three manatomes, so that's useful. That is useful. You know what's oh, also kind of cool is that cert like certain monsters, like the center pillars and stuff, like they look different when it rolls over to summer. Oh yeah. Like I like that, I think that's cool. What is a pig bat, and why is it in the mines? I don't like that. <laughs> it's there to kill you. You uh, have to oh. kill it first. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. Alright, can we make any more bee boxes? No, 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 no. What do you no, have against no, no, no. bee boxes? Oh, no, 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 not, not that. <laughs> Leave me alone. No! Go away. Lunar, what's I, happening? I thought the timing was fantastic. The timing on that was absolutely Lunar. perfect. <laughs> Lunar, are you okay? I love it so much, Lunar. Are you okay? <laughs> you I'm okay. okay. I got it. I didn't think that he, he could survive the rocks, but he did, and he came oh. right at me. Leave me alone! <clears throat> but no, I have nothing against bee boxes. Okay, we need lots more wooden planks, so I'm turning all of our logs into planks. Not coal? No, because we're gonna need- we need way more planks. And I'm gonna- I can farm coal. Just blow up all the rocks on, like, the first couple of levels of the mines. Like, I'll go do it now and get us some coal. Oh, I, I have three coal. That. I'm in the mines right now. Oh, sweet. What did you say, Landon? I didn't even think to, like, just go blow up all the rocks. Yeah, once you sense. get the spell, the explosion spell, then you can farm coal in the mines. That I didn't know about the purchasing the wood thing that you had told me, but, but this is why. Because I had tried this and I thought it was pretty fast, so I never tried anything else. Oh. So I just do it on like the first and second floor. Damn, oh wow, just... Lunar cleared this shit out, girl. Whoa. What happened? All, all the rocks are gone on floor number one. Yes, that's where I started and I skipped all the way to floor number 20. Yeah, yeah. Because you... I was like, why not? Yeah. Because if you're looking for iron, then you want to skip to those later floors. Ma'am, where did you put your fourth pile of treasure? Come on. You're not supposed to find that, Landon. That's a secret. I need to find it. She's asking me to find it. <laughs> You'll find it. I believe in you. I'm trying to be a good girlfriend. <laughs> I can, uh, I can smell bacon coming from the kitchen or something like that. The boys oh, are cooking jealous. something. The boys are cooking something. I think it's bacon. Ooh, I have one heart <clears throat> with Lynn. Aww. <gasps> Sweet. 
Oh, Lunar, did you have like a character that you wanted to go for dating in this game? Yes, so I... that I can not flirt with them. Yeah, <laughs> so that we don't we don't flirt with them too hard. We you can still do the first and second date with them, but you um you don't want to go beyond that. I don't I don't know. Is there any Sebastian type person? Because that was what uh, I was always looking for. In, um, maybe June would be the closest to that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, no, there isn't it. really. But June is a is a ther the therapist by occupation, and um, and he also paints. Ooh. He's very he's he's very sensitive. Aww. And his style is goth. <laughs> All right, keep selling it. She's almost I'm just, there. I'm just saying. That's that's what you need to know. I feel like the doctor is also kind of grumpy. I know Sebastian's pretty grumpy, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, the doctor I feel like could the doctor be good. Is kind of is kind of it's kind of a little grump. Well, and he's kind of like standoffish too. I feel like the doctor is just he's a very private person. Yes, very private. Wants to eat dinner alone. Yeah. Um, 262 coal, uh, what's we call it, uh, logs. Do you want me to make a few coal and then make a few? Or just, or make wood planks? I think let's turn the wood into planks. Um, okay. Because, and I'm farm, because I'm farming coal, I'm about to come back with like 11 or 12 pieces. Well, I have like a lot more to be made then. Yeah. Uh, for a lot more cooking uh, wood planks. Oh, now I have one heart with the, the doctor. You know, the doctor, oh, yeah. I haven't even seen the doctor's first date on my solo game. Maybe I should actually do that. I don't know. He was so standoffish that I almost like, I almost like, and he's not a real person. So this is so dumb. I was almost like, oh, he's not interested. And so I stopped talking to him. <laughs> he really likes um, oranges. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, good to know. All of all of the people. Although I'm gonna go flirt with Anne. Anne, where are you? Maybe it's not bacon. Maybe it's like a. Maybe they're making like a soy something. It smells like really salty. Ooh. Yeah. Send me some. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. I'll send it through the, the Levi's, internet. Levi's tapes. cooking is truly. It's good, right? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really go out to eat too much because it's usually disappointing. <laughs> I know that sounds like just a brag and a flex, but it's like, it's just true. I have two hearts with Anne. Aw. Love that for me. <clears throat> Am I gonna make it back home before I pass out? You can do it. I think that last 10 minutes, like the 11.50 to 12, is actually slightly longer than um, than other 10 minute blocks. It feels like it is to me anyway. I'm hoping I might come sleep in your bed, Karen, just so I don't have you to can do walk it. up the stairs. You can do it. I believe in you. There you are. You can make it. You can make it. Oh, yeah, I knew you could do it. Hell yeah. At some point, I'm sure to free up land, we're going to want to upgrade the main house and like give people bedrooms in it. Um, And then demo some of the individual houses. So we're just going to run out of good. room. I would not be opposed. Yeah. I just like thinking about like the eventual the eventual state. If we play this game for a really long time, I think we're going to have to do something like that. Well, I think the thing is, is like that is that all of a sudden we're going to gain three farms too. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. We are going to end up with a lot of farms. <clears throat> okay. 
So we've got more coal now, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna go make iron bars. So you guys have some iron to upgrade your tools. Awesome. Oh. Oh? I didn't know I could do that. Whoops. What? <clears throat> I have fire powers. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I could do that. This food this food that we made, should it be sold? Yes. We made we made it to sell? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go sell it. Oh, my pickaxe is done. Yes, give me that. Um, yeah, I think there's actually a couple in there. Don't sell the butter. Okay, so what I just looted was sesame rice balls, egg hash, pot pie, That's, and California rolls. That's all to sell? Those are all great to sell. Okay, I'm gonna sell them. Oh, and mochi and chicken noodle soup. Yep, those are good to sell too. Okay. Okie dokie. It's eight o'clock. I'm gonna sell my stuff and then I'm gonna go. Oh, I no. guess I can do this meat quest. I need that pickaxe. There's an iron pickaxe in here. Did you know that? Yes, I, that's my old iron okay. pickaxe. If if you have a copper one, take it. Uh, yeah, I had an iron pickaxe, but I'm selling my copper one, so okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, Lunar, if you have a copper pickaxe, you can go grab my old iron one out of the selling portal and use it. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine is a rusty pickaxe. Oh, we'll go get the iron one. Actually, what's your mining level? Um, I just leveled it up last time I was in the mines. It is level six. Okay, you have to make sure that you can use it. Uh, you can level 10, but it means that we... I have a copper one, though, that you can get yeah. at level five. So there's a copper one in there. Come steal that. You can use that copper one. Any of these done? Oh, okay, cool. The guava. I'm going to go put the guava in the thing. Let's see if we have anything to sell today. I thought I could buy meat from the bar. I guess not. I guess I have to go to the shop. Make some pie crust so we can make some pies. Yeah. Oh, pie sounds good. I I'm hungry. I don't think I ate enough pizza rolls for breakfast. Mm, pizza rolls. I'm gonna make some spaghetti. <clears throat> yeah, Lunar. Oh, we have these um buffalo chicken pizza rolls. Um, and I kind of like them better than the regular pizza rolls. Um, I feel like you should try them. Knowing like your taste and stuff, I think you would really like them. I probably would. I went to the store, uh, so I didn't have to buy food every day last week oh. and I bought these little like circle bread things and they are perfect for making little mini pizzas and so I would make like four of them and eat them just eat them throughout the day oh that's smart I think I I've seen those circle bread things that you're talking yeah. about so you can kind of make like little mini mini sandwiches or little mm -hmm. open faced things or whatever yep I turned them in I turned them into pizzas and they were so good yeah this, our store started selling family pack sizes of Nan. I love Nan bread. Oh, I'll make Nan bread no, into amazing. so many things. Oh my God. I'm so excited that they have the bigger packs now. Yeah. Landon, you love Nan bread too, right? I do love Nan, yeah. It's one so of my favorites. So good. Um, I actually, our Costco officially opened here in Ooh. Maine. It's the first Costco in Maine. What? Uh, and yes, and teachers, fun fact, teachers get a 60% discount on uh, Costco memberships. So nice. I don't know, like, wow. know that. Um, so because of that, I now go to Costco and I get these beautiful, uh, delicious uh, ramen shrimp wonton ramen bowls oh and my they are gosh. so good uh they are the best thing ever and would a hundred percent 
recommend to anybody who goes to Costco. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, so uh Lunar, can you get that? Have you do you have a Costco? We don't have a Costco where I live. Oh. We have to go like super far down the road to do that. Oh. But it might be worth it to like make some trips up there. Yeah, if that's it's if awesome. it's that much of a discount. Yeah, the one close to us is a, is a BJ's. The Costco is far for us, but we have a BJ's. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah, we have. I have a Sam's and a Costco. They're right across the street from each other. Oh, nice. Um, and it's convenient for sure. Okay. I have to pay this tab. Oh, Elven Grapes. Why are we selling the Snackoon plushie? Don't sell that. Okay, what are you, you doing? I already have one. <laughs> we can have more. What do you mean? <laughs> you really want to sell him? No, I didn't know where to put him. We can sell him. It's okay. If, I just, I was shocked. Like, I don't, sorry. I just really love the plushies in this the game. Action. I was like, why would you sell a plushie? I just, I don't know. I just, I, my, my heart went, what? <laughs> I, I have you, no more you room can sell in my inventory. He had to you go. can sell him if you want. It's okay. It's no big deal. I just, I, I, sorry, I had an emotional reaction. <laughs> that was truly amazing. <laughs> I forgot you're a puppy. I yeah, am a isn't she so Thank cute? You. You're a what? I'm a wolf. Okay, well, <laughs> wolves are also puppies. <laughs> Come now. I'm a moth with bright pink hair, so. <laughs> I love that. I had a D&D &D character with this aesthetic once. It was a mo it was like a fairy of decay. That was fun. Ooh. I already love them. That sounds interesting. I think I played her in a one shot. My last D&D &D character her name was Taylor. She was a wolf <laughs> shifter. Huh. Shocking, Things... I know. <laughs> um, Listen, when you have a brand, it's good to stick to it. Yeah, and that's what you're. That's doing. what Taylor Swift taught us. You're like, you're like, um, I. This is the things that I like, and I'm sticking with it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, she ended up becoming the goddess of friendship. Oh, well, that's fun. Friendship um, is magic. My D and D characters have not had such a happy ending, uh, which you know surprises I'm sure no one here. It's on brand uh, that for I you. just just like to make characters miserable. Well, um, it would have been bad, but the character like all the goddess wanted was love, and she couldn't get love, so she was gonna like ruin everybody. But one of the characters made this like huge declaration of love to her and passed the the role and so she everyone got the good ending instead of the bad ending oh and that happens <laughs> or else it would have been really bad like no the alternative ending to this would have been bad <laughs> death for everybody it sounds like mm-hmm All right, I have planted my grapes. I'm sure they'll grow. Right, There's yeah. There's no reason why they wouldn't, right? That would be silly. I'm on I'm on the levels where it's the uh, the magma bugs that drop lava honey, and once again, I am sad that there is no I can't eat the lava honey. There's no like spicy honey recipe. Um, I want to eat it. I wish that there was. Is there? And I've just, I just don't know about it. No, there. I think that there's something you can do with it. 
I always just sell it. I haven't found what you can do. I remember. I thought you could do something. Hold on. Well, I mean, I, I might will. just not know what I'm talking about, you know? We got four more for that summer bundle. Yeah, they made a soy sauce something. I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. Oh, oh, y'all, it's almost um, break stretch time. Yes, I'm going to have to actually dip out at stretch. Okay. I have a board meeting I have to go attend to. Oh, that yeah, sounds, you're sounds... doing one of those fancy people things. That sounds boarding. <laughs> it is going to be boarding and miserable. Can't make a pun out of that one. It's just going <laughs> to suck. <laughs> well, in tortured poet's apartment. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just be on silent mute and scrolling TikTok and uh, things are bad out here right now. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? I'm dealing with. <laughs> well, yeah. I had to do um, these Zoom meeting things for <clears throat> the course I was doing for work. I would get so bored with what we were doing that I would just scroll people's cameras. We had to have our cameras on just to prove that we were there. And I would just scroll and look at people's backgrounds with their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's and good. It's a good use text, of your time. I would text my friends and be like, hey, you're falling asleep. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's looking out. All right, y'all. I'm going to kick us out of the game. I'm going to kick us out of the game. Here we oh, go. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me water, let me water these beans very quickly. Okay, water the beans. Just one thing. Water the beans. Tell me when you're ready. Beans are watered. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Lunar, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Get out. Aww. No more farm for you. Just kidding. We'll be back in a few minutes, you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on some cute cats for the stream that y'all can watch. Also, um, just one more. One more thread for the Barber Monger Tea Shop. If you want to get. If you want to support your local Fujoshi, wait, let me get this in the frame. There oh, we go. Yeah, I wanted you to can, look at that. You can do that here. So they've got lots of shirt designs. I do recommend checking them out because they're my friends and I love them. Um, so anyways, if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And we'll be back with another video tomorrow because we're about to play some more right now. Okay. All right. Ending the recording. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.